What types of businesses can benefit best from Hadoop? Well, what we're finding actually is kind of pretty much any kind of business. Um, it's because in these, these days, it's not just large companies that will have large data problems. Even small companies can have large data problems. In some ways, it's down to the economics. You know, can the business afford to keep putting all this data into tr traditional relational databases? And uh, particularly for smaller businesses, you know, that's less and less of the case. So this is why they're looking at uh, different non-relational technologies, you know, big data solutions like Hadoop. So is there a tipping point? For going the Hadoop route, a certain amount of data, a yeah. certain threshold that you've, right. you've met. You know, it's one of those typical questions. It's, I think it's hard to say. There's no, there's no specific tipping point, but in many ways, it comes again back to that economic tipping point. Yeah, you know, how much are they willing to pay to store that data in a traditional relational database system? Mm -hmm. And that's going to vary depending on the on the company. But you know, I think as a rule of thumb, you know, if you're looking at terabytes, petabytes of, of data. You know, particularly if you're looking at that on a daily or weekly basis, that's the kind of time you might, might want to start thinking about Hadoop-like uh, technologies. Okay. So how does it apply to business intelligence? Yeah, kind of one of the interesting things is Hadoop was really not designed for business intelligence. You know, it was originally built and, uh, by Yahoo based on some ideas by Google, and it was originally built for doing you know, large, for indexing the internet, you know, huge data volumes. Um, and really, you know, BI was not something that they were thinking about at the time. So one of the issues with Hadoop is it doesn't give you speed of thought response times. You know, it's designed for storing large amounts of data. Even the smallest query is going to take a while to run. You know, <coughs> typically tens of seconds, maybe even minutes, depending on what you're doing. So it's not typically the kind of thing you want to try and do real time you know, BI against. And so what we've done here at, Pen at Pentaho is we've actually integrated it with the Pentaho uh, data integration product. So you can actually take slices out of Hadoop move those slices into uh, data marts, data warehouses, and, then, and at that point, then you can start doing the speed of thought uh, analysis, reporting, dashboarding against that data. You come up with a new business question, you can take a different slice of, out of Hadoop, again, move it into the data mart. Um, in addition to that, though, you know, for people who do want to do direct access without building data marts, we do uh, provide connectivity through Hive. Um, Hive is actually an add-on to Hadoop, which provides a, a SQL-like interface. So we've actually made some improvements to Hive, so it now works with Pentaho. So you can do batch-style reporting directly against uh, Hadoop through Hive. Um, in theory, you can also do you know online ad hoc uh, query yeah. against Hadoop through Hive as well. Although again, you know the, the issue there is the, the query response times. So I know that Hadoop has a bit of a learning curve to it. Yeah. So how? How do you allow for people across an organization to be able to benefit from it? Yeah, I mean, you're right. It's a very kind of, um, from a usability perspective, it's a very immature technology right now. You know, you are down in Java code writing map reduce functions, you know. Yeah. So it's kind of, uh, I, I, the quote I've heard is, you know, for, for enterprise developers who are used to ETL tools, for example, coming to Hadoop is kind of shocking. You know, you're down on the bare metal. Sure. And this is one of the things, again, we're trying to improve uh, at, here at Pentaho, uh, providing graphical interfaces as part of uh, Pentaho's data integration tool. So you can actually use the Pentaho graphical GUI for setting up uh, ETL jobs, which will uh, include you know, Hadoop functionality. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's probably the main thing there. Right. Yeah. Well, thanks very much for being with us. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you.